Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Polly. Welcome back to my study room with my plants. So today we're going to do a um, comparison. Yet again, I know, yeah, listen, listen, we're going to be comparing Amber Fever and Instant Crush by Monsera. Get another two dupes for the infamous Bakra Rouge. Yawn. But listen, uh, are they different? Are they similar? Mm. What's up? Which one? Which one is better? Which one to choose? So many options to smell the same. Which one? Huh? Well, let's get to it. By the way, I am sick, so yeah, not my best day, but let's get to this. So which one am I looking at right now? Instant Crush. So let's begin with Amber Fever. Amber Fever, I'm kind of reading from Fragrantica, Woody Amber Caramel Whiskey. As I said, I wish. Now, we got caramel, whiskey, tonka, and hazelnut in the top, in the heart, rose petals, Indian jasmine, and violet in the heart, and in the base, amber, white musk, teakwood, and oak moss. So, basically, this is Ariana Grande with a little bit touch of teakwood that fades away and becomes basically Ariana Grande. That's what Amber Fever is. It's a very nice soft sweet uh version of those 100 dupes of Bacra rouge and that's where it's leaning it's more on that side definitely unisex very everyday um has great performance much better than the ariana grande in my opinion it's a very nice one um yeah that's all i gotta say really about this i really like it like if i didn't have ariana grande i would say yeah sure definitely why not because it does perform a lot better, has more projection, just more going on for it. But in terms of a scent, it's it's very similar to that one. Um, uh, the Burberry Her, I find it still to have the, just like that hint of all the berries. And it's a little bit more girly and flirty. Um, but I really do like that one. The Ariana Grande, honestly, to be quite frank, once I'm done with that bottle, I'm not repurchasing. Because... Well, first of all, I have three to go through, but if I really want something very much like that and very simple, nothing woody or anything like that, I would rather have the in, um, the Amber Fever just because it does perform a lot better. I just prefer this kind of um, quality over that. But it's very nice. Uh, it has a little bit of the wood, but nothing crazy. Forget about the whiskey and all that. It's not, it's not gonna be. It's not a boozy fragrance or anything like that. Um, that's just kind of how it comes uh, across for me personally. Then we have Instant Crush. Yes. Yes, it is another dupe. Why do we need so many? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, Bacra Rouge is the most amazing thing that people ever smelled and they want a lot of it. I understand. I do that too. Now, it's warm, spicy, woody, amber, vanilla, powder, citrus, rose, leather, earthy. What? Amazing. Now, Notes, saffron ginger, Sicilian mandarin, and Sicilian bergamot in the top, in the heart, amber wood, amber wood, yeah, uh, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli leaf. Wow, we went all over the world to collect ingredients for this one, didn't we? Madagascar vanilla, we went, uh, yeah, sandalwood, white musk, and oak moss. So what do we have? Um, this one is really, really nice. This is, so all of these are unisex. It's the whole fragrance is very unisex. This one is leaning more masculine, um, not because it's uh, more man appropriate versus women. Absolutely not. I actually love this fragrance. Um, more wood coming through. A lot more wood. It's more woody, slightly less sweet. It's not not sweet. It's very sweet. But, or maybe it's the same amount of sweetness, but just the wood and uh, kind of that saffron and all just comes across, comes forward a little bit more than the rest. And that gives it a little bit more of that masculine tone. And that wood does not go anywhere. It lasts through the entire story of the fragrance. And I love it. And uh, yeah, no, it's wonderful. I love it. Like, I, yeah. First of all, I love Monsera. Um, even if, well, we'll get, I got another sample kit and we're going to do a review, but even if they make a fragrance that is very generic, but it has the Monsera performance, I will choose that one. 
because of the performance. Now, the fact that a fragrance is made by Mansara does not mean it has Mansara performance, unfortunately. We'll get to those. I was quite bummed out. But this one is very nice. I find this to be, yeah, definitely a lot more appropriate for men just because um, it has that woodiness. It's more masculine. And it definitely speaks to me because I love masculine uh, notes. And this is kind of that perfect way to have that unisex leaning male, but very sweet and very fun to wear. Now, I will compare this one to the Al Hermain Amber Oud Rouge. Why? Because from um, my video that I did with the dupes for Baccarat Rouge, this is the one that has the most wood and it lasts and you can really tell the presence of the wood. Very similar to the Instant Crush. They're very similar, guys. They're very, very similar. Um, kind of dupey. So the, um, let's see again how, all right. So the Instant Crush was, let me find its description. It's very, yeah, it's almost the same. So description, warm, spicy, woody, amber. This one, warm, spicy, amber, and malic and woody. So same thing with the leather and the moss, the powder, tobacco, and all the, all that jazz. So in the opening in the um, El Hermain, you have saffron. You don't have the other notes, but you have the saffron. In the heart, you have just jasmine. So they didn't travel much for this one, but hey, they got kind of the, the main ingredients. And then Embry's white cedar extract and musk and the base. Guys, the white cedar really comes through in this fragrance. It doesn't go away. It doesn't disappear. But in the Instant Crush, I'm kind of scrolling, you have the sandalwood and the oak moss, the amberwood, yeah. But all in all, they're incredibly similar. I would say the Instant Crush still is, has a bit more masculine um, deviation to it, more leaning to that direction, slightly less intense of the sweetness. I find this to be sweeter. And a little bit more simple in terms of the notes. And I mean, they're so similar. Can you really tell, you know, that uh, maybe, maybe to a certain degree. But this one is really good for a man. This is, this one would be more absolutely unisex, very uh, easy. This can, might irritate people that don't like woody notes in their fragrances so if you really don't like woody notes or you can handle them like in a very small tiny dosages that they're almost not present that I wouldn't recommend instant crush I would say go maybe for this one or the amber fever but if you're looking for I don't know if you can hear that but we're it's trash day but if you're looking for the Ariana Grande or a dupe, but more masculine or more woody or more different, less of that kind of sweet, I would say the Instant Crush is uh, the most uh, unique, so to say, or leaning more woody than all the rest. And this one follows and then the Amber Fever, I would say. I really like this one as well. It's really, oh my God, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, just seal my faith for the rest of the day. <laughs> this is not going anywhere. This one lasts, honestly, the Alhar Main, the whole um, Amber Oud line. I have two by now. I'm probably going to want to get the tobacco as well. But they last an insane amount of time. They're extremely long lasting. And they're some of the most unisex easy to wear fragrances that I've met and they're very interesting and fun they're I really like it and they're not unisex because they're covered in citrus and oh you know everybody likes a fresh lemon no they're just they're unique and I love that and I think they're the only ones pretty much that I keep them 
in their box. I just love I just love the presentation. It's such a good quality. It's really a good quality. I do enjoy it a lot. But that's kind of my comparison between the, um, those ones. So if you're insisting to try the Mancera ones, again, just a reminder, the performance is fantastic. Uh, these fall right in line with what Mancera has to offer. Amber Fever, a little more casual, more unisex, more of, you know, female friendly, so to say. Yeah, it's just, um, you know, it's really good. I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, I got nothing bad to say. It's really good. It's awesome. Uh, the Instant Crush, again, more woods. You can smell the woods. The woods last. That's what I personally love about this. Can you have both? Yeah. Who am I to tell you what you need to have? That's up to you to decide. You know, uh, if you're obsessed with fragrances or certain genre, you're probably going to have a couple that smell all not so different. So... I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you the option, explaining you the difference. For all I know, you're going to order both. You're like, I want the everyday and I want the same with more wood. And you know what? I get it. I absolutely get it. I, I, I might have done the same thing if I didn't end up with already four dupes. Because honestly, these are beautiful. Do you necessarily need to? No. Do they smell very close? Yes. Can you dupe them with um, with Al Hermain? Yes. Would I recommend the by this point the Ariana Grande? Quite frankly, not. Um, why? Because this is not any um, more expensive, and the performance is significantly better. It's a lot more interesting. Same the Burberry Her it has a much better performance, and it's a little bit more interesting. Uh, so Ariana Grande, I mean, uh, it's a cute bottle, but. I mean, I think we um, stepped beyond that. Sorry about that. Had a little coughing moment. But basically, listen, Mancera, you can get these, you can find these online. Four ounces. For around $80. Maybe even less or something like that. And I think it's worth the price, to be quite frank. And they do perform significantly better than the cloud. So... And they're a little bit more, there's more to them. They are all very similar, but there's still a bit of a difference. And if you're a fragrance snob, not in a bad way, like in the best way. I mean, if I was an overachiever or I didn't have the Ariana Grande, if I had to choose, I definitely would have both. <laughs> But that's just me. I'm a little cuckoo when it comes to uh, fragrances that I love. I'm like, ooh, I want more. Like my, I feel like my eventually my rose fragrance collection is just gonna explode. I'm trying to pull back, pull back. But every time I send a fragrance that I adore, I'm like, oh, it's a rose. What am I gonna do? If I love it, I love it. But all right, guys, that's it for today. That's my comparison because we're just hearing so much about it. And I just wanted to give my two cents into this in case you were thinking, well, this is a dupe and this is a dupe. And what's the difference? They are very similar. Some people say they're not, but no, they are. They just, they have enough difference to have both because this is very woody and this is not. So maybe people that did smell the actual Baja Rouge, which I have never have, Maybe there's no wood in there. So when they smell Instant Crush, they're like, oh, this is very woody and Bakra isn't. Well, yeah, we'll throw some wood in there and there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for today. Uh, do subscribe for my channel for more videos. I love doing this comparison. They help me and I hope they help you to kind of understand which one. Is there a difference and which one is better? All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.